Good morning and welcome back to the channel. It is currently 25 degrees out here in the desert, the Albert Desert it's in Eastern Oregon, right at the base of the Steens Mountain Range. And I can feel it, it is so cold. My God, forgive me if I'm talking a little bit quiet. I walked a little bit away from our campground where Jess is still trying to sleep in this unbearable weather. The biggest trooper of a fiance anyone can ever ask for We're going camping on our spring break in 25 degree weather. Wow. It's about 40 minutes before sunrise, blue hour is now upon us and everything looks fantastic. The steens are out, got this giant mountain face over there. It looks super sick. The light's hitting these cracks the way I wanted it to last night. By the way, this is day two in the Albert Desert. This is my first time ever here. If you haven't seen part one, I'll link it here. Please go watch that if you can. We went through hell to get here. I will say that and it has been kind of hell to be here. So but it's very cool, very still. Last night's time lapse is awesome, by the way. If you're new here, my name's Elias. I'm an amateur landscape photographer. I'm based on the Pacific Northwest. I had to go out and explore my local area and other places that I might travel to and bring my experience as a new landscape photographer to YouTube. If that kind of content interests you, hit the subscribe button. I put a video out every single week. I'm trying to make it to a thousand subscribers this year and it would mean the world to me if you can help me get there. Please hit the subscribe button. So, blue hours here. Man, I think I'm just gonna get some B-roll and look at these mountains and I might pop the drone out and see what it looks like. Everything's frozen, everything. We didn't go very far on the desert because everything is so moist because it's been raining here like crazy. The farther you go out there, the deeper your tracks get. And the last thing I want to do is get stuck in the middle of the desert. So yeah, we kind of stayed inland a little bit, but that's okay because this is, this is awesome. Let's kind of set up and wait for some lights to start kicking off. Let's do this. Alpen Glow is hitting the steams perfectly right now, and it looks so amazing. I, oh my God. These mountains are so cool. In Oregon, this is probably the most cluster of mountains you're gonna see together that makes something that look like this. Like the Cascades run through Oregon, but they're so spread out and just kind of hilly and not really mountains. These, these are wild. This is like North Cascade stuff in the very Southern tip of Oregon. That is so crazy to me, dude, wow. These are looking so good. I don't really know what to do on a composition with these other than just do a fat pano. So that's what we're gonna do. I haven't done very many panos on this channel. We're gonna do a pano right now. And I think it's worth it, cause man, I'm gonna try to do that. And I think I'm gonna try to find a composition when the first light hits the tip of those peaks. So yeah, let's get a pano real quick. This is whew, such a cool morning. Wow, I wish I had time to make coffee. <laughs> So last video, I did a bunch of for desert foreground photos and I promised I wasn't gonna do it for this one. I can take this off, why don't we have this on? So I'm gonna get some quick floor action on the ground. Right now, it's just got some really cool ambient light of the ground. I might do one more, might not show it, I don't know. But I found like this little spot of frost hitting between the cracks. So I put that as the dead center focal point and I think it looks kinda cool. Might be stupid, I don't know. But you got a little bit of color in the sky before the sun hits, ambient light hitting the rocks. It just looks so sick. Definitely gonna do that. And I wanna get one more at least with either the tip lighting up on the steens or when the sun actually hits these rocks. Cause I haven't seen what it looks like with the sun directly, the sunlight actually directly hits these rocks as yesterday we got kind of screwed. So nice little photo, nice little thing to get things moving. My drone is freaking out, dude, it's too cold. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that, but yeah, this is so sick, dude, wow.
officially have the first light hitting Steens and oh my God, this is perfect. <laughs> this is amazing. I can't believe this right now. This is so sick. This is, I don't know. Mount Hood is awesome. I'm from Portland area. Mount Hood is m one of my favorite mountains, but this range is incredible looking. So we're getting a shot real quick. Just going to get another pulled in shot. I found these three peaks that kind of complement each other. There's kind of a vignette, one on each side. And in the background, there's a third and it just looks really cool. So I think I'm gonna do a nice little square crop of those two, but nice, easy composition. I got another pano, probably not gonna show it cause I'm not gonna show two panos, but have it in my library. So I'm stoked about that, but grabbing this one, just doing everything super soft, super soft. F5.6, I love it. That's what it feels like right now. Everything's just ethereal. It's very ambient feeling. It is, wow, this is awesome. last shot and I already, I already got one shooting straight into the sun with uh the camera just to get the light the shadows on this crack of the ground that looks just so cool but i already got a ground shot that i showed so what i want to do is i'm over here getting an actual side profile of this ground because the shadows hit it and it looks really cool it creates a really cool effect of the contrast that goes against them it's warm it's cool. It's extremely crisp because everything's frozen. I'm wearing Jess's gloves, by the way. These are not mine. I do not. This is all I have. I didn't bring gloves because I was like, we're not going to be snowshoeing it in the snow. So why would I need gloves? Apparently she was the smart one. So as usual, per usual. But yeah, I'm going to get a side profile of this. I like it because it's just, you can play with it so much. There's so much you can do in this. There's color, there's contrast, there's designs. I'm getting a big wide open shot so I can figure out what I'm gonna do with the crop because I have no idea, but this is gonna be the last picture. This has been awesome. Then I'm gonna go, yeah, get some coffee. <laughs>
quite the morning, quite the journey, to be completely honest. Buddy! Come here, bud. Good boy. So to recap this whole journey, this whole experience to get here, yesterday was we woke up in Leslie Gulch and drove through hell to get here. Got here, windstorm, 20 mile an hour winds on this desert floor. Up there is even worse. Just dying, completely dying. The weather was being crazy. It started snowing out here at one point. It was hailing, absolutely miserable. Couldn't start a fire last night. Couldn't do anything. Literally just cuddled all night in all of our clothes and blankets that we had, sleeping bags. Kept warm, kept Goku warm, and this morning whew, was worth it. It was all worth it. That was so awesome. That's what I wanted to see. Barely scratched the surface here at the Steens and Alver Desert area, especially for the time of year. Usually when people come here, it's summer, it's nice, everyone's hanging out. We had this whole place to ourselves. Literally, we laid it out the storm for this, this calm. There's no wind, it's cold, it's cold as hell, but it was amazing. So Alver Desert in spring, might not do it again. Probably won't do it again. Fall, who knows? Summer, definitely. Definitely, especially for some astrophotography. We would love to do that. Last video I said we we're gonna go check out a hot spring, but today we actually have a nine hour drive and we're gonna be going to Vegas. He's taking a couple days off from the camping life. Hang out, Goku's gonna do Vegas. It's gonna be super sick. Going somewhere very special that I've been wanting to go to for a very long time. If you know the area, you know what I'm talking about, but it's somewhere that I have been wanting to go for so long and I'm so sick that we're finally gonna be going to the Southwest. Have a few spots planned out. I wish we had more time there, but these are places that I wanted to see and it's kind of on the way, so we had to stop here. So we're gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for watching to the end. If you got any value out of this video, if you like this video, if you like any of the content that you might've seen, please hit the like button. It helps me out so, so much. I'm still very new to YouTube and all the interactions and all the support means the world to me as a new YouTuber. So please hit the like button. I would appreciate it very much. If you enjoy this kind of content and see me go out and explore my local area or other areas like this that I might travel to, bringing my experience and journeys to places like this to YouTube, hit the subscribe button. I put a video out every single week. Again, I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers. Please help me to get there for the year of 2023. And yeah, next week's video is gonna be super sick. It's gonna be awesome. Well, until next time, Oliver Desert, Steam Mountain Range, and Eastern Oregon in general. It's been a blast. And we'll be back. Thanks, guys. See you next week.